Yo, what up guys, it's 5D here and this is a champion guide or spotlight for one of the best early game champions you can get in Rage Shadow Legends. It's from the Undead Hots faction. If you go to the epic category and it's the first champion right there, Gogorab. Yes, so I just wanted to shine the spotlight on this lost and forgotten champion in Rage Shadow Legends that only newer players in their beginner stages only appreciate. And I'll tell you why endgame players no longer use these champions on their account anymore. So the first thing you should know that this is a support champion awesomely built from the undead faction so he does look kind of not undead that much but you can see the smile, it's all bony teeth right there so his flesh is gone. So that's Gogorab right there nicely built skeleton structure but with a little bit of flesh on his bones though he's best known in the game as one of your early game revivers yes that's one big thing in the game that a lot of newer players in raid want to obtain and that's this a3 skill right here which revives all dead allies you see it's not just revive one or two champions an epic champion like this who revives everybody that is dead is awesome although since they made it an awesome skill like this they had to make it fall short by putting it on a five ton cooldown that means if you use this skill once and you revive all your dead allies it will not be available for five tons before uh, of course when it's fully booked so um, that's the downside of having a revive all dead allies on his epic champion like this it's not gonna be on a three ton cooldown or on a four ton cooldown like you see on legendary champions so that's the bad part but it's still useful this is not just a revive this champion will use this skill even when nobody is dead it says so right there this will happen even when there are no dead allies that means he will use it as a heal instead it doesn't just revive it does a heal the thing i don't get about this skill is that then heals all allies by 25 percent of what is it of his hp or if of their hp they usually state it clearly in their description but when this champion came out i guess they were not that clear about the description of where the hp 25 percent is coming from i think that's something red needs to look at and maybe add some wording to it to improve this 25 percent of his max hp or of their max hp it needs to be clear so there is no speculation or doubt of how much hp you should have on him something like that all right that's his a3 that's what he's best known for another thing that he brings to your team for your allies that he brings as a support champion is increased attack besides um your early game spirit host who is your first introduction to increase attack right which a lot of people use at level 40 or level 50 before your user has food he's gonna be your next increase attack that you obtain in that early game that can double your damage literally so your attack champions who do maybe 20k hits might begin to do 40k hit because increase attack 50 percent increase attack buff on them will mean they'll do a lot more damage twice the damage of their attack that is so it doesn't only do that it fills the turn meter of all allies by 15 percent so it's just not an increased attack it also fills the turn meter so this skill is also is extremely useful in pvp content and also in pve content so he's a support champion he's on a three turn cooldown which is a good one it's not like as bad as the a3 which is on a five turn cooldown so this is an extremely useful skill that you use everywhere even if you don't want the increased attack because you're using defense-based champions, right? Remember, increased attack does not increase the, the damage that defense-based champion will do, like Terrell or uh, was Razin, you know. It will not increase their um, attack. If you want to help those champions, you have to do increased defense instead to increase the amount of damage they do from their defense damage all right so that's what you should know about this skill increase attack only for attack based champions will benefit from it the only damage dealing skill that this champion has is his a1 so therefore this champion should not be built with damage that's what i'm trying to say he's not a champion we want to build with high crit rate high crit damage no he's here in your team for only this a2 and a3 skills so you shouldn't be trying to build him with high damage because this is the only skill that actually touches the enemy and guess what he doesn't hit all enemies he only hits one enemy so that's why i'm not going to be building this champion with any damage at all you usually want to build your support or revive champions or healer champions with enough hp and defense to survive and of course speed will be the most important thing if you want him to go around to use this skill a lot in battles so this a1 is not just going to hit the enemy it will also has a 50 percent chance booked to a 75 percent chance of removing one random buff 
from the enemy i'm going to be showing you that in battle where it's extremely useful to remove one buff from the um, enemy so i'm going to test that out to see see how it happens now that is not all this champion has a useful aura the first of course useful aura you'll be introduced to also your high cartoons will bring in a 19 percent um speed aura in the arena or in all uh, areas of the game other champions also bring a 19 percent speed aura but gogorab has a 23 percent speed aura in the arena only so this is the champion in the early game that you might see a lot of people using in their arena leader slot because he brings 20 23 percent increase and um, speed to every ally on your team so that's gogorab he does have a 97 percent 97 base speed good base hp right there which means you can pump more hp on this champion and he will survive longer all right let me show you how i built my gogorab i dusted him out of my um vault and i'll be showing you where in the early game you might want to use this champion and why i no longer use him in the end game anymore so if i head over to my champions and scroll over to gogorab we might find him chilling right here with his green <laughs> all right that's my artifact that i put on him right there speed 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 set is what you need on this champion in the early game or even to the late game if you're early early game you might not even need accuracy on this champion if i click my banner right there you will see i do not have accuracy banner on this champion because i don't want accuracy on him basically so the little accuracy i have right here of 200 is just coming from this perception set which had good speed right so that's all i put on him i just wanted to get that 200 speed and uh, 200 accuracy and my gear is currently at 15 15 15 15 because i just wanted to do this video for you but i didn't want to take all the gear to 16 right now because there is no artifact enhancement available right now so i'm saving all this to upgrade it in artifact enhancement but by the time i'm done my total stat that i'll have on this champion will be about 75k hp and um, up to 35 or 3 3200 defense and of course 280 speed is the my, my maximum that i wanted if you could do 250 220 depending on how much speed you have but this champion should be your first your fastest champion in your team especially if it's your um your only speed booster or only increased attack champion or only reviver you have you don't have a potter carry you don't have abita yet he will be the fastest champion in your team give him all your best speed gear don't take speed gear that belongs on him and give to other damage dealer champions so uh, like i said no crit rate no crit damage he's not here for damage at all i managed to get some um resistance and also of course the accuracy from the set so remember you don't need to go all triple perception the main thing you need is triple speed set right there which other sets might you put on gogorab that will be useful for him if you're going to use gogorab in the clan boss for early early game life still but i don't think he belongs in the clan boss at, at all although he has that a1 that can remove the increased attack the clan boss places on himself he brings nothing else to that battle revive is not what you want for the clan boss also so which other artifact sets might i want to put on this champion besides speed set of course we have the um the good old brother of speed set which is if i can find it where is that other speed set that um divine speed yes that's the name so if you have enough sets like this i only have only three it's hard to get good ones if you have good sets from this set you can also put it on him speed 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 is what he need i don't think immortal will be the best for this champion although he does have good hp and all that good stuff i've seen some people put him in retaliation set to make him steal a lot of buffs from the enemy for pvp but that's not a content relentless set maybe because he, the more turns he takes the more heals and revives and all that that he will do remember this champion will waste that revive even when it's not needed in battle so that's the only set i might want to put on this champion i this is a champion that is worth the book so i did fully book my um, gogora because he need this skill on a five turn cooldown right there so i did spend all the books on it and of course the a1 75 percent chance fully booked to steal a random buff and increase attack right there three turn cooldown for masteries for gogorab you might want to go towards the support and defense trade like i said this champion is not going to be your be your source of damage so there's no point there's no reason to even give him that much damage now i came towards this place that gave me bulwark 
I can't remember why I went towards Bulwark, but this is not the best. Now, for Gogorab, if you're going to be using him in PvP content, I think this is the best way to go right there to increase this champion's storm meter by 20% when an ally hero drops below 25% HP. So, this is the best one you want to use for most healer reviver champions. I can't remember why I chose this masteries in the early, early game. I guess I was trying to use it for what do you call this thing? Um, faction wars i think that's where he served me the boss because he was the only revived champion in that faction and that boss hits so hard that once he hits and takes gogorab out the battle is done so i wanted people my allies to survive the hits of the boss that's why i choose this masteries to help gogorab take a little bit of that damage because the boss does not target him he targets other weaker and champions on the team so that's why i think i put this one for faction wars that's why i put it so don't copy this masteries check out a uh, hill's website to see options for masteries you might want to use on gogora but i suggest this for pvp or for pve content it will work just fine so you have enough thermometer right there so i also have the chance of increasing the duration of my buff that i cast so that's also a useful one right there in the support three more hp for him no i didn't go towards accuracy because he doesn't need that much of accuracy but uh, this one also whenever he hits somebody it decreases the top meter of that enemy the first time he hits that person all right support and defense that's what i suggest on him counter attack masteries after you select this one will be the best way to go so he counter attacks with his a1 consistently for um blessings i went towards commanding presence just to boost for him to boost with the aura or if if he's the aura lead in the arena he can boost his aura by 2.5 percent or currently he's at level four so he's currently boosting my aura by 7.5 percent and adding a little bit of hp and resist that's why i have all that resist 4000 hp hp total right there added from this mastery but it's there for mainly boosting the aura in the leaders of the leader all right that's gogorab that's how i built him speed 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 no other way to go about him now it's time for us to take him into some content and show him off and see what he can actually bring to your team remember that's what something every team needs a reviver a healer somebody to boost your um tom meter that's where gogorab comes in he's not a champion you want to use in campaign he's not a good campaign farmer the first content that i used him first when i got this champion is something i hated the most in race shadow legends this boss that will put a big shield on himself the magic um keep and gogorab was the champion who i brought in here to just remove the big shield that the boss places on itself so let me bring in gogorab to be the champion that will remove that buff and see how the battle goes all right we'll go th through the first round and the second round and then head to the boss and do it on manual so i just use the a1 to remove the big shield that the boss places on himself he might need a few attempts to get it done but it will be done I didn't put it on a auto team, so I have to do this manual so Gogorab does not waste his skill. Auto, he, he did it. Increase attack, decrease defense, and weaken poisons. And Xavier explode. Boom. Let's do it again. Kaima resets. Gogarab increase attack, decrease defense and weaken poison and Xavier explode. Now I don't want to kill this boss off instantly. I just want to let me make this die. Let him make let me make him waste this so he doesn't use it on the boss. I want Gogarab to be the only one to remove that shield because it's a big deal when you come to this boss and you see the shield you're like oh my god how am i gonna get through this so it was something that in the early game of rachel Logan seems impossible if you do not have somebody to remove the shield this battle just goes on drags on forever but once you have masteries you have good champions you have everybody at 60 it gets easier with time even if you don't have somebody to just do this for you Boop. it didn't happen remember it's a 75 percent chance of removing that shield on the boss all right, let me stop the boss from placing any other buffs on himself. I just want only that one to be the boss buff I have to deal with. 
I don't want to kill him too fast also. I really want Gogorab to use that A1 like this. That's it. That's it. When it happens, it just makes the battle a lot easier. And this was my first appreciation for this champion in raid. As one of the champions that can just remove this um, shield easily. Now, there are a lot of champions in Rishal Legends who can also do this, right? It's not the only one. It's just that I like that he's on on a 75% chance of doing it and it's kind of consistent. You see how fast his A1 came around and he used it again and took away that shield of this boss. Which makes this battle a, a lot easier. The boss is probably going to put the shield again but Gogorab is still going to remove it instantly or almost instantly. That's if Xavier does not just explode everything fast enough. And there she goes with her big hits. Okay, I want the boss to actually place it. No, he has block. He's not going to place it. I stopped him from placing any buff on himself. Alright, that's what I brought him here for. That A1 right there. That's the first reason a lot of people want to use Gogorab in the early game. Something he brings to the battle which other revivers might not bring to the battle. Alright, let me head over to some other more difficult content which is dungeon content. And that's where he will serve the role as a reviver for your team and remember once you've beaten one dungeon you've beaten all of them i'm talking about dragon um spider fire knight he brings the same thing to all that battles which is a reviver and a healer and an increased attack champion so i'm not going to be showing you multiple dungeons that's what i'm saying i'm just going to run one battle of this dungeon 20 and show you what gogora brings to this team i put together this simple enough team it's not a broken team this seems like an early game enough team right you have a your dedicated poisoner right there you have your speed booster you have your decreased defense champion right there and gogarab is there as increased attack right and a reviver i put in cold heart right there just to have that ability for somebody to go down you know once she's hit she will go down so i just wanted to showcase gogarab's revive a little bit hopefully we don't nook them down fast enough <laughs> and um yeah hopefully cold that actually dies and we see gogarab's revive in action Remember, he will waste this revive even when nobody dies. That's the bad part about this champion. So let's see how the battle goes. Decrease defense out there. Cold Heart is hitting too hard. Come on, chill. We want to actually take some damage. I don't know if it's going to happen though. I do want Cold Heart to go down. Damn, she's hitting too hard. We resisted all their debuffs. Can this Hodin just hit Cold Hearts? It's not happening. I don't want to use my. Ah, no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. See, he's using his A1 instead of doing the heal because nobody right now needs to be healed. But if anybody's HP goes down a little bit, Gogara will, will waste that skill. Alright, let me not hit them too hard this time let me use only my a1 and actually let them take a turn especially the hordens i want the hordens to actually take a turn i'll not place decrease defense on them i'll only attack one champion and hopefully they they kill my cold heart so i can flex my revive i should have brought in a team that or i should have fight maybe dungeon 24 <laughs> or 25 that will make sure that somebody actually goes down they're attacking the wrong person but okay that champion has um life steal and he's gonna heal from he being taking his own hits see he's gonna heal back from, see nobody's attacking cold that maybe my cold that ha does have good hp i guess oh she had yes that's what i was waiting for <laughs> So let me put it on auto right now so Gogarab can showcase his skill, right? Not yet. I actually want Kolda to die. That's it. Uh -huh. Now if I do auto, what will Gogarab do? That's a revive. <laughs> That's all I just wanted to show that this champion has the ability to revive anybody that goes down in battle. But now that he uses it once in battle, you have to wait an entire five turns before you can use it again. So if Cold Heart goes down in this turn, she will stay down for an additional like three turns, which is the bad part about this champion, Gogora. That if somebody does go down, it takes a while before you can pick them up again. That's why you want to bring him in with an additional healer like Apothecary. You can't rely on Gogra alone as your 
dedicated healer. No, that's not a, the, that's not his role in the team. He'll be of more of an increased attack and speed booster than a reviver and a healer most of the time because somebody will go down, laying there on the floor, and go grab is busy using his A1. You're thinking, why won't you revive? You you don't know that he's just already wasted his um, A3 to do a heal instead of a revive. All right. I might not run this one all the way to the end because I don't have a good poisoner right here to take this boss down fast. But maybe Koldat will do a Hatsika and look this down. Did she waste her Hatsika in wave 2? She usually does. Let me see if she's going to use a Hatsika. Because it does work on Dungeon 20. And that's it. Big nooks right there. 651k um, damage. So I guess we could wait it out and see. The battle to the all the way to the end. Gogora bringing this increased attack is not benefiting anybody in this team besides Cold Heart because she does benefit from increased attack. Although she does have a lot more crit rate and crit damage than increased attack. Than attack, I mean, people don't usually build a Cold Heart out with 5k attack or something. It's usually 3k or so. They focus on 300 crit damage <laughs> or so or more on their Cold Heart. So I guess that's how I also built mine. So. But hey, increased attack is also benefiting her and decreased attack will also be a bad thing to be, be on this champion right now. Alright, that's the showcase for Gogora. Basically, I showed you the best place where I use him in the early game. And of course, in the end game, he will be your dedicated champion that is paired along with you in every battle. Whether it's Doom Tower, whether it's Faction War, whether it's any dungeon. Gogora will be there as a healer, as an increased attack champion and also as a, you know, to boost your tometer up a little bit that's his role exactly like this now why do i no longer use this champion in my teams why do i have to dust him out of the vaults today is because once a lot of people in racial audience obtain habitat whether you play for six months one year or so once you obtain habitat i tell you gogora becomes obsolete why because habitat comes into this game with two things that gogora does for your team well, three. The first thing is the increased attack and the um, Tomita feel, right? So, Abita does the increased attack also 50% and also um, feels the Tomita of all allies by 30%. You know, Gogora does by 15%. She does by 30%. Also, he used them by 25% of their max HP. So, she also does that heal all on one increased attack skill. So, she brings this to the table and of course the revive that she also does revives all dead ally but her revive is also on a five ton cooldown like you see right there just like gogorab's revive so i guess they are equal on that front but once a lot of players in raid obtain abita which she also even has a higher base speed than he does right base speed right there of 110 she does a lot more faster with the same speed artifact on on her goes a lot faster so this is the reason why gogorab is no longer used in late 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 game in racial legends the only place that you see people using gogorab is in doom tower secret rooms and in faction wars in the late game that's the only two places that you'll find me using gogorab right now in racial legends he doesn't qualify to fit into any of my doom tower teams he doesn't even because Abita is there or some other revive champion. Rector Drat is there. You know those tanky champions that do revive. He also does. He's a tanky revive champion. But I rather have a revive champion that will have the revive available than one that will waste the revive. That's the difference between Rector Drat, who does single target revive and AoE revive like um, Gogora. So he also doesn't fit into my. Um, what do you call not even clan boss never use him in clan boss he doesn't fit into my hydra teams even as fast as he is as a good reviver as somebody who can use his a1 to even steal the buff or do, do increase attack for me he doesn't fit into any of my hydra teams right now and if i scroll a little bit down even my first team that beats normal i think what champion do i use there as my revive my two uko i also have the option to use um abita right here i used to use abita right here before i put my Man mighty right here so he doesn't fit in into the simplest um normal team not even the hard team that does have rector right there so it's not a revived champion for late game that's what i'm trying to say if you're new to race alliance and you're thinking about building this champion you can go ahead and build him he will serve you in the dungeon for a very long time but once you obtain abita 
Abita will replace him in almost every content besides Faction Wars. So that's the truth about Gogorab in Great Shadow Legends. At least in 2023, I don't know if things are going to change in the future um, or how people will find a new appreciation for this champion. Let me know in the comments where else do you use this champion if you think my assessment of him is kind of fair. I didn't go into the arena and fight any battles, but hey, he's king of the arena. Considering what he just did in the dungeons, I don't want to fight any arena battles because <laughs> I'm kind of high, 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 closer to platinum and it's going to be difficult for me to find any teams I can beat right here. But let me just show you a sample run of what might happen when Gogorab is on the team. Um, as your default speed booster, where is he? Gogorab, right there. 23% in arena battles. He has added that speed aura for me. So hopefully this will be enough for me to go fast. Of course, that will be faster than 19% um, Deacon right there. So let me quickly hit the auto battle and see how, how the run goes. So he is in the leader slot in the arena battles. He'll just do the increased attack and make your kill and your other nukas, whether you have Ronda, anybody that their damage is based on attack, he will just boost the attack by a lot more than they normally will do. So, increase attack right there, which will make my um, champion hit a lot harder and the fight is easy. Without that increased attack, I wouldn't probably have hit that hard and they will still be surviving. All of them, maybe they will be half health. So, increase attack is what it brings to this battle and make sure that you take a turn faster. Alright, that's um, the showcase. There's no way I was going to end this one without showing you at least one arena battles. I I'll tell you, he's also not serving in my 3v3 arena because I have uh, Lissandra and other champions who have 30% increased attack right now in the leader slot, Prince Kaima, Abita. That's what people use in the end game. But in the early game, there's nothing wrong with him being as one of the champions you have in, the, in your leader slot in 3v3 arena. All right. That's my review of Gogorab showcasing some spotlight on him right now. Although he has been lost and forgotten, if you just obtain this champion and you're new to raid a month, two, six months, even up to a year, even on my Noob to Pro right now, well, I have Abita, might not be using him or building him right now. But if you don't have Abita right now, he can serve in all this content I just showed you in, in a lot more content. Definitely not Clan Boss though. Like I said, let me know in the comments where else you use this champion. I'll be interested in knowing other builds you might want to have for him or other content I don't know about or other things I don't know about how to use him yet. Always looking forward to your comments below. Hit that like button for me in this YouTube video if you find it useful or, useful or entertaining or at least you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Rage Shadow Legends content on a daily basis. Comment any champion you want me to do a guide on. I'm back and I'll be talking about all champions. Except they are legendaries and I don't have books for them. Then that will be on the list of champions I have to re review in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later guys.